What is it, Chip? It's 2015. Where's my flying car? You blew it up. Remember when we were watching Back to the Future 2? Like it was yesterday. It was this morning. You watched that movie, Robert Zemeckis predicts that by 2015, we would have a flying car. It's 2015. There is no flying car. Where's our flying DeLorean, Eve? You blew it up. All I want is a newspaper that's constantly updating in real time. You do have one. It's called the internet. Where's Mr. Fusion? I want my Mr. Fusion. I want my trash to be used as a fuel source. Why haven't I gotten my flying DeLorean with Mr. Fusion? Because you blew it up. You accuse me of blowing up that goddamn car one more time and I'm gonna kick your digital ass six ways to Sunday. Go ahead and try it. You hit like a girl. A pretty girl? No. When's it gonna be my time, Eve? When am I gonna be able to sit down at a restaurant and have Ayatollah Khomeini take my food order? Probably never, since he's been dead for a quarter century. I mean, the future's been 2015 since 1989. Now what's the future? We don't have anything to look forward to. What about the Summer Olympics? Bitch, what the fuck you just say to me? The real future sucks. Who could have predicted that by 2015 all that we would have was a bunch of angry feminists and Google Glass? No one, that's who. Which is why tonight we're going to look far into the future, into the year 2560 with a little bit of F-Zero starring Captain Falcon, guitar solo. In the year 2560, futuristic racing. That was a pretty good take, let's keep that one. So long story short, it's the future, and there are aliens. There are billionaires too, and they created F-Zero. F-Zero is now the biggest profit drawer in the 26th century. Yeah, just gotta put that in my references, make sure I cite it. The rich people are really bored, so they create F-Zero to entertain themselves. It's kind of like horse racing, but it's the future, so they have like, futuristic cyberpunk binoculars and fucking stupid ass hats. Let's start with this here story mode. It's a good thing I wore the driving gloves. They have hearts on them. What's that? A racing game with a story mode? Of course! All the best racing games have story modes like Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, this game. In the outskirts of Mute City, Batman is getting chased down by Brain Dude. Brain Dude's all like, you better win the F-Zero Grand Prix. And Batman's all, I'm Batman. Actually, that guy's called Black Sludge or something. I don't fucking know. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the music. Uh, you might just want to take a quick listen. Oh man, that shit rocks so hard. Bass solo. Meanwhile, Captain Falcon is cruising the streets looking for trouble. He then goes to his totally top secret garage, hidden in an alley, and does a little bit of practicing. Yeah! Collect the nuts! La la la! Collect the nuts! La 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 la! And that's all he needs as far as training goes for the Grand Prix. Yeah, I mean, when your competition is this guy, <laughs> I wouldn't be too worried either. The next mission is against Samurai Goro, Falcon's other arch nemesis. I'll tell you what, the developers spared no expenses on him. The voice acting is top notch. You stole the prize money from us last time. You will pay for that. Eve! What? You stole the last jelly donut from me. You will pay for that. Go ahead and try it, you scrawny little bastard. I'll whoop your ass, bitch! You know, maybe I'm wrong on this one, but does it at all seem like their movements are just a little too overdramatic? Right then, the first one to that checkpoint over there is the winner! Beat Samurai Goro to the goal. Ha! How hard can that be? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this game is fucking impossible! So in case you guys didn't notice, this game is fast. That's kind of the point. You have boost power. Your opponents have boost power. Your boost power drains the energy of your car. Your opponents does not. But that's okay, because the music in this level is a remix of Red Canyon from the original F-Zero. Take it away! And 
And then Samurai Goro dies! Or something. Moving on to the next level, Falcon stops at a bar for a little R&R. &R. Unfortunately, every driver and their daddy is entering some kind of- <gasps> Is that- Oh fuck, yeah, I forgot about this son of a bitch! Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the King of the Jungle and the Grand Prix, Biorex. According to his bio, the creature Biorex was designed by the Kirlan Corporation. His creation is the result of a genetic manipulation research that was outlawed on Earth centuries ago. He was created from the DNA of a fossilized dinosaur egg. However, before he even got to race, he had to endure several press conferences, interviews, public appearances, and was constantly under constant public scrutiny. Uh, that's a double, double thing there. Reading it from the wiki! Eventually, his patience reached a breaking point, and his fiery temper caused some rather embarrassing bad press for the Kirlan Corporation. They distanced themselves from Biorex, who still intended to enter the Grand Prix. During his first year, he, as a new species, was determined to prove he was superior to human. However, the following year he entered mainly to satisfy his ravenous appetite for mammoth ribs. Question, if this is a universe where dinosaurs walk around with human intelligence, isn't it safe to assume that mammoths walk around with human intelligence too? I'm just trying to understand the concept of a Biorex. You know what? I don't even need to understand the concept of a Biorex because it's just fucking awesome. I mean, it's a dinosaur that drives a futuristic race car. How cool is that? I'd like to dedicate this next one to a very special dinosaur. Biorex, this is for you. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Hey, where do you think you're taking me? Wait. Is this, is this really our hero? I mean... God, Falcon, I love the guy, but this may sound controversial. He's kind of dumb. Oh, come on, come on. He's a meathead. Biorex, you have higher level intelligence. I need to say a few words to the audience to try to sway their opinion. Dinosaurs were on this planet long before the humans came along. The Earth belongs to us. He just lost his mother recently. Been a rough time on all of us. He's, he's going through something over there. Meanwhile, Captain Falcon is now the Famicom. Okay. Oh no, Jody Summers is trapped in a nuclear facility that's about to explode. What? What are race car drivers doing hanging around nuclear facilities? Is this some kind of universe where race car drivers are also superheroes? Actually, that, that would explain the significance of Batman. I mean, Batman just goes running around blowing shit up and everyone's pretty much okay with it. Who's the law around here? Let me talk with the guy in charge. Hey, where do you think you're taking me? Wait. Oh, oh, oh. What was the alternative again? <laughs> That's it. I'm moving, I'm blowing dodge, ladies and gentlemen. The gangs. So not only is this game extremely difficult, but it's extremely racist, too. I mean, look, the only black character in the game is also a gang member. What about Baba? What about Baba? Baba's a fucking Bushman. He was raised in the wild. He wears animal fur. That's like the original racist stereotype. What about Kate Allen? Kate Allen has a giant afro and walks around in an orange thong. She used to be a soul singer. What about Silver Nielsen? Well, he's not a racist stereotype. He's just old, so he is racist. The next mission is my favorite because I get to go super fast with a time limit, and every time you hit something, you lose and have to start over because the reactor blows up. The best part is when you reach the end ramp, but then hit the wall and blow up. <laughs> Is this entertaining? Am I entertaining anybody right now? Just playing the same level over and over and losing every time? Eve, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't care, Chip. Gameplay is what sells. You see, because I feel like what sells is guitar solos. Look, you just do whatever it is you do and let me handle the numbers for you. But you see, I looked at the numbers, and I still feel like what sells is guitar solos. Well, I happen to know that what sells is Let's Plays with dull commentary that is in no way original or interesting. How do you explain that? People are dumb. They'd much rather watch someone play a game than do something creative. But you see, it's not about them. 
It's about me, and what I want to see more of is guitar solos. But that's not what sells. Guitar solo! Falcon, take this! Oh, what are you doing? Come out, Blood Falcon. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What? Pop quiz hot shot. Keep the car above 700 kilometers an hour. If we don't keep this car above 700 kilometers an hour, it'll explode. Ah! I'm the Lord of the Harvest, Falcon. Whoa. I won an Oscar. We're doing it for Van Gogh, Falcon. What other... What other movies is Dennis Hopper in? After that horrific mission, we're finally onto the Grand Prix. It only took us, yep, six missions to get to. But you know what? Those missions were meant to practice and get you ready for the Grand Prix. I mean, Rocky had to scale a mountain and pull horse-drawn carriages out of the snow in Siberia before he was ready to fight Ivan Drago. So if Captain Falcon has to impersonate another racer and take down a gang and escape a nuclear facility that's about to go haywire, and defeat his evil twin, but that's just what he's gotta do. Whatever, I'm ready now. Let's wreck this race. got a hell of a lot harder all of a sudden. Okay, so the reason this level's so hard is because there's too many goddamn cars on the track. In the casino level, there wasn't a full 30 car circuit, so there was room to actually move around a little bit. But fuck that! Now everyone's hitting each other, some of the platforms don't have guardrails, and everyone else is super fucking fast! But I'm gonna let a couple of other racers keep me from getting my champion's belt. I happen to know a workaround for this little hiccup of ours. Yeah, look at that, I'm already in the top tier. Why the fuck is Batman so hard? You stick your fucking Batmobile and fucking tailpipe shit. Daddy wants to fuck. Look at that! I beat the mission! Ha! I'm so good at this game! So then Satan comes out and kills Batman with a lightsaber. Then Captain Falcon goes to the gates of hell to race Satan. Falcon, shall I tell you something before you die? I guess so. Dark and light, the two great forces which make up our universe. These two universal forces are condensed in each of our belts. That seems... inefficient. At the moment when the two forces become one, it is possible to seize that power. Then I can turn this whole galaxy into a pile of ashes in an instant. I like racing games and sci-fi game, so I thought that this would be a good game because it combines the two, so I just thought it'd be just like a fun science fiction futuristic racing game. I didn't really realize it was, it was gonna be about all this. How I've waited for this moment. The world will fall into total darkness. Not if I can help it. I'll destroy you yet. Let's go! So then you have to race against Satan and his evil car, the Dark Schneider. <laughs> oh, 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 the Dark Schneider. That's Satan's car. Dark Schneider. Really? That's the name of Satan's fucking car. Oh, oh no, better watch out. Here comes Satan and Dark Schneider and they're, they're gonna get you. <laughs> oh, we have fun here. 
Right, Eve? I hate you. This is it. The final curtain. The climactic battle between light and darkness. Good and evil. Racing through the depths of hell against Satan himself for the good of the galaxy. Oh. Well, that was reasonably challenging. I'm sorry if I seem a little bit underwhelmed. It's just... That's it? The race that all humanity is depending on is really through that easily? The Grand Prix was harder than that. I mean, don't get me wrong, this mission was difficult, sure, but just compare the amount of times I tried to beat Batman and couldn't do it as opposed to Satan himself. Whatever. Let's just move on to the next mission. Forces will never get their hands on this belt. I'll keep winning. I've come to the realization that I will never be viewed as an accomplished musician. On top of that, the original score for F-Zero GX has made me lose all faith in humanity, so I'm selling all of my musical instruments. One Gibson Custom Shop Flying V with DiMarzio X2N pickups. One Glenn Burton Les Paul Goldtop with DiMarzio Crunch Lab and Tone Zone. The evil forces will never get their hands on this belt. Hey, 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 Captain, I think you might have, uh, you know, forgot to open your mouth there. Oh my god. Captain Falcon can speak without moving his lips. He can communicate with us telepathically. He defeated Satan. That can only mean one thing. Captain Falcon is Jesus. All hail Captain Falcon, our Lord and Savior. Let him be praised. We're gonna rock for something new. We're gonna rock for something true. Tonight's the night, so let's raise up our hands. Falcon King. King of Kings, yeah. Captain Falcon goes back to his garage and puts the champion's belt on the wall. Because that's what people with trophies do, I guess. Oh no, the belt is alive and... Ghosts! Whoa. Look, I'm over here, Falcon! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> we are the creators. What are you- So the champion's belt is Jesus? <laughs> we created the whole world. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I can accept that truth that easily. I mean, you're going against a lot of long-held traditional beliefs for thousands and thousands- <laughs> So in order to save the universe, Captain Falcon must race Jesus through the Geth Consciousness. Falcon Captain. This level's decently challenging, but the only thing potentially keeping you from winning is just falling off. Seriously. All you have to do is just boost once to defeat Jesus and not fall off, then you're basically guaranteed to win. The game ends, Captain Falcon defeats Jesus and walks away while the credits roll. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait one minute for me, okay. That last level was so easy! That's the last level of the whole game? It only took me like four or five tries to beat it, and that's just because I kept falling off of the edge of the map. And once I got the track memorized, it was almost a joke how easy that opponent was. I couldn't actually beat Batman in the Grand Prix, I just had somehow many years ago. That's why I was able to progress further to the story. You're telling me I beat Satan easier than I beat Batman? You're telling me I beat Jesus easier than I beat either of them? So what you're saying is that the level of difficulty is Jesus, Satan, and Batman. That's it. Batman is our Lord and Savior, Batman is God. All hail Batman, let him be praised! <laughs> You were right. I don't think that was ever brought into question. Yeah, people don't want to see more guitar solos. They want to see more bass solos. 